สวัสดีครับ In this video, we're going to have a look at condos and houses in Chiang Mai that are available for sale and for rent, ranging from one bedroom to four bedrooms, and a sales price ranging from 2.6 million baht to 32.5 million baht, and a rent price ranging from 17,000 baht to 72,000 baht per month. And if you're looking to buy or rent property anywhere in Thailand, see the link. In the description of this video, as well as the pin comment, for how you can get in touch with a Fazwaz real estate agent. Remember that agency fees in Thailand are completely free for the buyer and the renter, so may as well take advantage of that. All right. Let's get started. The first place that I'm going to show you is a one bedroom, one bathroom, 63 square meters in size on the third floor of Hillside 3 condominium, uh, which was completed in December of 2009. Now it is going for a sales price of 2.6 million baht, and that brings the price per square meter to 40,000 baht per square meter. Now, looking at the map, this place is very conveniently located right on Niman He Min Road, which is considered the premier downtown area in Chiang Mai, where all the great restaurants and nightlife is. So this is a great area, and you're very close to Rin Kum intersection and. Uh, Maya Mall is right here, and then you have the major super high rate way there, and then you go up here, turn right, and then you'll have access to the old city right here. So very conveniently located. So with that, let's have a 3D virtual tour of this place. Nice. And my first impression of this place is, yeah, it's very Lana Chiang Mai with the uh, uh, wooden vinyl and the vibrant colors, and then you can see the greenery outside. That's really nice. So let's zoom up to a floor plan. So you see, you have uh, a kitchen corner here dedicated for that. That's completely separate from the living area, which has a dedicated section for the dining room and the living room. And then you have a large bedroom. So let's jump into the entrance. And then to the right is uh, the one and only bathroom that you're going to have to share with your guests. So it's right here at the entrance. It comes with a built-in bathtub and a shower right here. Okay, a uh, pretty large uh, spacious mirror and large countertop. Honestly, I am not a fan of this tiling. It, it doesn't make it look that clean and it looks, makes it look quite dated. So if I bought this place, I definitely would redo the tile because it kind of makes it look grimy, even though it isn't, but it gives you that feeling, right? And then this like black and white checkered floor here is just, no, no, so 1980s. Anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the room. Now, this is great. I love how there's windows. Uh, it wraps around the living room uh, like this. It get, brings in a lot of natural light, and you can see these uh, gorgeous, you know, hundred-year-old trees uh, from the outside. So that gives you that really nice uh, green Chiang Mai kind of living feeling. But you're still in town, so that's really nice. So you've got a dedicated area right here for your dining table. Comes with a I don't know, kind of plain looking, okay dining table. And then you've got a living room area here. Uh, the, these seats don't look that comfortable, but you know, and then it comes with a TV. But again, I really, really like uh, these windows that are all around here. So that's really nice. So turn into, turning into the corner kitchen. Yeah, again, it's the, the same kind of grimy tiling uh, as with the bathroom. Maybe I'd replace it with something, you know, more brighter, maybe an off-white to give it a more clean feeling to it. Uh, and then you've got a, um, gas stove like this and then you've got some uh, cabinetry up top and the bottom here. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes it look dated as well, this kind of uh, old wood kind of uh, cabinet, but I can tolerate that. I mean, it gives you this nice uh, rustic lana feel to it, so same with this cabinet here. So. Okay, maybe I can go for that. I, I definitely like the this really clean looking vinyl uh, wood floor here. That's really nice. So stepping into the bedroom, okay, it comes with a, a average looking bed. I mean, 
<laughs> All the furniture at this place is, doesn't really look that comfortable, does it? Um, I'd, I'd replace it if I had the money to do so. Uh, this place, kind of pretty good value, 2.6 million baht, so I think you'd have uh, your budget left over to uh, buy some nice furniture. Uh, comes with a small closet and uh, drawer here. And then you've got a pretty decent area over here just to put in, uh, I don't know, some some maybe maybe your desk to, and turn this corner here into a uh, office so you can look out uh, into the view. Speaking of the view, so let's have a look. So okay, so this you're within the hillside uh, compound here. So uh, you've got some trees right here. Uh, the good thing about being in a compound and having your view overlooking the uh, project itself is that it's it's a guaranteed view it may not be the best view but it's a guaranteed view as opposed to looking into an empty lot where you think oh wow great right now but hey two or three years down the line they might build something that would completely block and ruin your view so actually let's take a look at that view from the living room yep so yeah it's really nice that they have these really large trees that really uh, gives this view a lot of character and then yeah you've got your neighbors there so you're living in downtown Chiang Mai um, seeing buildings is is normal you're you're not going to be able to avoid that so overall I think this is a uh, great location in Niman Heimin Road and uh, the view is pretty great I love these uh, windows that wrap around here give this place a uh, bright natural light spacious kind of feel to it would replace the furniture it looks kind of cheap and definitely would replace the tiling so cool next we move on to a two bed two bath 51 square meters in size uh, on the fourth floor of the one Chiang Mai which was completed in 2020 so this is uh, a newer option compared to the previous one but obviously it's gonna be pricier as well this place is going for sale for 3.8 million baht and that brings the price per square meter to 74,000 baht per square meter so that's almost double the one before this so we'll see if uh, it can justify that taking a look at this place uh, on the map so it's located um, on the other side of the Ping River here the Ping River is a very prominent river that uh, divides Chiang Mai a very historic river that has uh, been the source of a lot of commerce so it's right out here it's not on the Ping River it's on this uh, smaller river called Mekhao so let's jump into a 3d walkthrough of this place by the way if you want to check out uh, more about each uh, project in depth and go into the listing feel free to check it out I've linked to these places in the description I won't be able to cover everything in this video otherwise it's gonna go way too long so I'm just gonna uh, just touch upon the units that I'm, I'm gonna show you okay so all right so definitely a smaller room because it's a newer condo and that's just how it is so you gotta it's pro, pros and cons here between uh, if you want someplace new or someplace older and more spacious okay so jumping in yeah as you can see everything looks a lot more modern uh, more more clean so uh, so that that would be a pro for some people who want a a more modern feel it comes with a washing machine nice built-in one wall kitchen as you can see uh, decent uh, cabinetry actually kind of comparable to the previous one honestly and you've got a little space here uh, for four people that's decent and then a separate area here for your living room so actually it's not bad I feel like this place has made good use of space as as far as I can see you I mean it has all like the elements of a room like a, a living room dining room and kitchen that that are just kind of closer together but they still you know function at you know they still fulfill their own separate functions pretty well so now uh, as for the balcony this is uh, from my understanding a showroom so you're not gonna actually uh, see this unit right here it's probably gonna be on a different floor or whatever so talk to a Fazwaz real estate if you're interested in this place uh, see the description of this video as to how to get in contact so that is Macau Canal right there for you to see so that's something interesting there and then let's see so next we go on to the uh, bathroom suite of this place so it is a 
three-piece bathroom with a rain shower and regular shower. As you can see here, the tiles is, looks a lot more clean, way more modern. This uh, is a lot, looks a lot nicer than the previous one that just looks very grimy and dated. So uh, good for these people. Nice selection of tiles, and I like this uh, darker color on the floor here as well. So good for them, that's nice. And yeah, this vinyl floor is kind of the same concept as the previous one, but it's a little bit apparent that this looks a little bit more artificial the other one looks a little bit more polished and organic but I think in the end it's kind of the same uh, so that place I, I think I like the flooring better than this one this one's a little very typical for um, condos nowadays but hey I think both will be fine in terms of their durability stepping into the bedroom so you've got a view uh, of the canal as well if you're a unit that's facing the canal so a decent space here to fit your bed and you can mount your uh, TV here if you want and it comes with a nice uh, sliding wardrobe so actually nicer than uh, the previous one so okay there's more thought put into uh, this place obviously uh, that makes better use of the layout so what else do we have we've got the other uh, master bedroom here so we'll jump into that very similar okay so you can see they've already mounted a TV here like I suggested uh, nice uh, bed there and uh, I like this sliding wardrobe as well uh, a bit smaller than the previous one the previous room but okay and then it comes with the same uh, three-piece bathroom with a rain shower and uh, that same nice clean minimal tiling that uh, I agree with as well so cool um, actually this place yeah like the price per square meterage is uh, double of the previous one but you know what I think this place even though it's smaller it does seem to make good use of the space I feel like every, it has everything that you need it doesn't feel like you're, you're, you're that cramped this is this is my impression of this place and obviously it's it looks a lot more modern in terms of the finishing now granted uh, let's see in terms of light coming in it, it does give you some decent natural light as well the other place you know has all these windows that wrap around the living area but this place is okay as well as you can see uh, floor to almost ceiling uh, window here and uh, over there as well so an option for you to consider a newer condo that is a bit more expensive but that being said it is a bit farther uh, out of town so uh, just something for you to consider there and next we move on to a house actually this is a three bedroom three bathroom 171 square meters in size two stories at Supalaiville, Chiang Mai, and it was completed in 2013. This place is available for sale for 4.9 million baht, or you can rent it for 17,000 baht per month. Now, you may be wondering, if you're watching this and you're not Thai, you may be wondering, how are you going to buy uh, this house if you want? How do foreigners uh, own houses? So. Yes, that's true. You can't outright own uh, landed property in Thailand. However, there's two ways to get around it. Number one, you can uh, buy it through a registered Thai company or you can lease it. And typically leases uh, are up to 30 years and then you can renew the lease up to 90 years. So uh, consult with a Fazwaz real estate agent about that if you definitely want to own a house. See the link in the description, like I said. Okay, this place is well out of town in Sada a P area although this is one of the suburbs of Chiang Mai and as you can see it's connected by a lot of major roads so uh, you're not necessarily out way out in the boondocks so pretty pretty good suburban area you see the Chiang Mai airport is uh, this way and uh, old Th Thailand uh, Chiang Mai old town is over here so another option for you to consider uh, you're gonna be in a uh, gated community so let's have a 3d walkthrough of this place okay now uh let's zoom up to the floor plan okay nice so from the entrance here you have your stairway to the left living room dining room uh kitchen and then this one uh, room here that you can turn into an office very nice so let's have a look okay cool uh my first impression is again the tile the the floor makes it look very just cheap and a bit dated um and i don't know personally it's Personally, when I when I step into places like this, I think of, of it being very echoey, you know, like uh, because of the this type of material. 
Uh, so maybe I put in some, some rugs to break it up a little bit. Otherwise, you're just gonna have an entire white, bare, like, <laughs> Um, hospital room of a place. Uh, they've put in some uh, color to pop, which is very just odd. Uh, I do like this dark brown though. So okay, they've come with it. Comes with uh, this furniture that's just okay. Couches that are just placeholder couches. So if you rent this place for 17k, I definitely consider uh, bringing in your own furniture because I mean, look at this uh, little little dining table here. It doesn't look that uh, warm or comfortable, although it comes with two fridges. Okay, that's interesting. That's good. And then, okay, so the kitchen has a sliding door here to keep out the smoke from spilling in, so that's nice. So then you can cook here and ventilate out that way, and then you have access to the backside of the house from the kitchen. That's really nice. Uh, comes with a uh, oven and electric stove, as I can see, microwave, uh, some shelving, some cabinetry, closet here, toaster, nice, okay, nice, nice. And then uh, we step into the first uh, bathroom here, okay, so it comes with a, does it come with a shower? Seems like it comes with a shower, okay, so that's in case uh, you turn the other room here into uh, a guest bedroom or a crash room or whatever like that. It seems like the, the shower curtain is broken and they just draped it over here. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, pretty nice, pretty standard. Still, um, the tiling, okay, I'm glad that at least they use a lighter color to make it look clean. Uh, it does look a little dated, so this place overall is a little bit devoid of any character, so uh, if I were to buy this or rent it, I would, you know, furnish it with, you know, I, I take this as an opportunity to uh, decorate this blank canvas and personalize it. Okay, so uh, having a look at this room here, okay, just a little, uh, looks like a cell. <laughs> so I guess you can put a bed here or you can uh, turn this into an office or something like that. Okay, so let's uh, walk up the stairway, this side here, okay? So it gives you a glance of, okay, your neighbor, over here, hi neighbor. And then you, as you can see, you've got some plants uh, within your own garden. You've got a spirit house there. Nice, huh? Well, you're in your, you got your own house and you got your own spirit house now. Really cool. Okay, so you've got some plants here. You got this tree on your side. Okay, I like this. Uh, this wood floor way, 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 way better than the tiles downstairs. Okay, so the second floor looks a lot nicer. Okay, walking up. Okay, okay, I like this. And it contrasts very well to uh, the, uh, what is this? Is this a, uh, okay, all right. So that's some kind of wire that's coming down. Probably it's the ethernet cable or something like that. Okay, so let's look at the bedroom. So there's three bedrooms. So let's look at, well, go according to number. Bedroom number two, jump in. Okay, yeah, pretty standard bedroom with, uh, you know, if you've got some trees there in the window, okay, pretty nice four-door wardrobe, that's decent. And then you've got a dresser right here. That's pretty nice. And let's, let's see the bathroom situation. Okay, so you use this bathroom here, which you're gonna have to share with the other bathroom, okay. Uh, they were attempting a modern art reenactment with the um, shower curtains, but it's because they want us to see the shower, so I'm not gonna pick on them for that. Okay, nice, okay, pretty decent. And uh, okay, let's look at the next room. Okay, comes also with a nice wardrobe with drawers. Okay, uh, twin beds, and then you've got a little desk here. Uh, okay, I guess you can take move the desk outside because this is a lot more spacious and you'd enjoy yourself here better if you work here, not as cramped. Okay, so this would be the, um, Master bedroom comes with a, okay, coffee table, interesting. So uh, for people who wanna sit and watch the master sleep, I guess. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm, whatever. I mean, they came, this, came with this, you can move it outside or whatever, right? They just placed it here and it comes with a uh, wardrobe with mirror and drawers, that's nice. And uh, the master bathroom has nothing uh, very distinguished about it. Same uh, uh, modern art piece up here with the curtain and uh, same three-piece bathroom with shower. Let's have a look at the balcony. 
stepping out okay okay so you see your neighborhood okay so as you can see here it's a really nice uh, you're living in a, a gated community with uh, other homes as well so that's really nice that you're going to have that really nice calm uh, suburban lifestyle in the Supalai view all the way out in Sada P. so this place on sale for uh, 4.9 million bots if you're a foreigner you can own it via Thai company or via a lease or you can rent it for uh, 17,000 baht. Wow, interesting. So one of the properties that I was gonna show you, the listing has been removed and most likely it's because it's been snagged up. So, wow, interesting. Damn, okay, so as you can see here, there's a lot of activity going on here. That was actually a really nice property too for a 22K uh, three bedroom for 4.75 uh, million baht. And uh, I'm trying to find it here and I can't find it. It's called Urbana One. It was a really nice place too. So uh, see here, so like you gotta be quick about this because there are people browsing this website and making inquiries and deals are being closed here. So better act quick. So I'm just gonna move on to, so that was a 4.7 million bot home to give you another option to the, to the other one that's 4.9, but since it's taken, I gotta move on and we're going up in budget here. So we're moving on to a house that's uh, for sale and for rent. It's called Cool, oh, Kula Pan View 9. <laughs> cool Punt. I'm sure a lot of English speakers are gonna call this Cool Punt. <laughs> it's it's Kula Pan View. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, 336 square meters in size, two stories, and it was completed in July of 2019. As you can see here, it's available for rent for 50,000 baht a month, or if you'd like to buy it, uh, you can buy it for 9.9 million baht, and that would give it a price per square meter of 29,000 baht per square meter. Wow, the photographer that took the photo here, mwah, you're selling it very nicely because this facade looks really nice. But before we do that, let's have a look at where it is. And it is down in Hangdong, southeast of uh, Mueang Chiang Mai here. So that's another uh, prominent uh, suburb in uh, Chiang Mai as well. So let's, uh, wow, this looks like a nice, warm, northern Thai mountain cottage. This is, this is gonna have a really cozy feeling to it, as opposed to the other one that looks kind of like bare and, uh, well, just devoid of any character. So let's have a look at a 3D walkthrough. It has character, definitely not the character that I like, I think. This uh, furniture looks a little fruit cakey for my personal liking. If you're into that, fine, but I think it's very niche and the person is a bit too obsessed with uh, quiche European interior design uh, and forgetting that they live in Chiang Mai. So this looks a little bit out of place, in my opinion, uh, when you're in Chiang Mai, seeing this like faux Rococo, faux Victorian in this house. To each their own, I'm just saying that if you're trying to sell a place, when you're furnishing it to make it look very, into, into a very niche style of decor, you, you're going to attract certain people, of course, but then you're going to repel certain people as well, like myself. Um, I would chuck these out into the backyard, well, in the front yard and give it away. But anyway, that's me being harsh. So let's, uh, okay, so this place comes with a garden backyard as well. So we're gonna get to that in a second. Okay, you've got the entrance, you've got four bedrooms here, lots to see here, and it's two floors. So let's start from the car park. Okay, so you're coming in from here. I'm assuming this is an electric sliding gate, right? You're, you're at this level. Better be like that. Uh, interesting entrance here. So it looks like you've got uh, a large enough garage to park at least two, two vehicles and some motorcycles like this. Uh, you've got a garden that has not been tended to. <laughs> I turned this into like a Sandy Zen garden or something in my opinion. Oh, I'm being niche again. Oops, I'm being a hypocrite, but okay. Uh, okay, nice uh, little uh, 
foyer here to a uh, little shoe shoe shelving like this nice and it's a uh, different uh, on a lower level from the rest of the house so that's good so uh, the dust from these shoes wouldn't uh, go into the rest of the house so that's really nice cool uh, this checkered tiling is interesting and then you've got that same um, soulless tiling uh, as you saw from the previous place but uh, at least it's furnished okay it's got um, they just I think they just put it there and do not plan on doing anything with this fireplace whatsoever so that's pure decor for these people well it's apparent that these people are really into the ornamental stuff you see this uh, lighting fixture which I actually don't mind uh, okay, I, I like though that there's a lot of windows in this place and uh, you're gonna see into your backyard there. Wow, wow, it has a little patio there too. Wow, this looks like it's into a little other, like, whoa, okay, let, let's, just, let's just have a look at the garden because this looks cool. Okay, this is actually the selling point of this place, this nice private garden in the back here that looks like you've, you've just stepped into uh, Wonderland here. Uh, okay, the facade from outside, I really like uh, the architecture here, okay, it looks like a very nice cozy cottage and I like this outdoor seating here, you can put a barbecue right here, you've got some uh, uh, sun beds here and then there's another gate that you can access to the other compound nice grass lawn interesting uh, okay okay nice let's see this 3 3d uh, 360 view of this little back garden here nice okay they didn't really do much to it and then they just put this path here leading up to um, an unused decrepit water fountain uh, okay, but you, I'm sure you can install another centerpiece that makes this walkway worth it. And uh, okay, nice. I, I actually, I like these um, vines here. Really nice, really nice. Okay, uh, not that many trees. I would have preferred some more trees, but okay. Nice place, you know, if you've got kids, they can play around. Uh, looking at the house itself, look at that. Very cool house, okay. I think I'm just being too turned off by that uh, faux Victorian decor, so I will uh, forgive them for that. For that, so let's jump back in uh, to the living room. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you got a, a sitting room uh, slash TV room here, and then you've got a dedicated uh, dining area here where uh, your kitchen is over here. Nice corner kitchen that is connected to the outside so you can uh, entertain your guests either outside when the weather permits or indoors here when the weather does not permit. Has a washer and a dryer, very full equipped. Not that much uh, storage, okay, so uh, not that much cabinetry overhead. I wish there were a little bit more storage up here. Uh, what else to see? Okay, so you've got another side of the kitchen as well. So you've got two kitchens. You've got this corner kitchen here. Okay, there's the storage there as well. And, uh, and then you come over to this room here, which is the first bedroom that we're gonna look at. It's bedroom number three. Okay, coming in here. What is up with these um, curtains here. I mean, can you draw them up? They just look kind of like a old Victorian lady's dress that you're staring at and then you're looking down and you're gonna see up her skirt or something. Okay, um, it's an interesting choice of bed material here. This, What's with this leather bed? It feels like it's gonna be a bit loud when you move around. Uh, okay, and nice uh, furniture here. Uh, not sure why they put in two couches in this room here. And then you've got a little backyard area here as well. And then step into the, uh, okay, oh, interesting. Okay, so it's a uh, bathroom that you can access from out here. So the guests would use this bathroom here. Okay, so it's kind of like a narrow bathroom and then you've got a shower here at the end. Nice rain shower, I like the finishing here. Very clean looking, okay. And then uh, zooming up, we go to the uh, other 
bedroom here. So it's just a smaller room. It's like a room where a guest can crash or you can take out this bed and turn it into an office and you can see uh, the person's uh, inspiration for decorating this place. They really wish they could put, make it look like um, Queen Elizabeth's uh, Buckingham Palace sitting room, it seems like. So, okay. Uh, I think we're done with the first floor. Really like that garden. So let's walk up the stairway. Okay, walking up the stairway, okay. Feels like, a, feels like a house from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> uh, okay, so coming up here, okay, so two bedrooms. So let's step into the uh, first one first. Oh, gosh. Oh, too gaudy. Too gaudy, guys. Oh, oh. All right, well, uh, Queen Victoria can have this room. What is, oh. <laughs> All right, it even has this old school uh, telephone that I actually think could, is still works. Oh, okay, well, I would chuck this bed and all this, these dressers out into front of the, my property. And even then it would probably devalue the value of my property and its neighborhood when it has these things sitting outside. Ugh, to each your own, I guess. And uh, at least the bathroom is nice. Okay, nice three piece a bathroom. <laughs> what is this grime here? Uh, okay, okay, I do like this gold uh, finishing of this uh, faucet here. That's nice. Yeah, okay, I like the white and gold. You can use gold if it's very minimal, right? It's, if, if you use gold sparingly and it's not too obnoxious, it doesn't look like Saddam Hussein or <laughs> Donald Trump's throne room, then uh, you're good. Okay, zooming up. Uh, okay, coming into the master. Okay, better here. Ugh, I chucked this out as well. At least the bed is not as horrendous looking. And then you've got this uh, interesting sitting area here. Um, not sure what you would do with it. I guess you turn it into uh, an office, a private office. Uh, it's got some nice windows here. Okay, um, and then uh, let's check out the master. Uh, bathroom, okay, nice large mirrors, a his and her vanity counter, that's really nice. And it comes with a really nice uh, uh, white bathtub there and a separate shower stall. That's really nice, cool. So this place, uh, overall, I love uh, the facade of the place. This place uh, really looks like a mountain cottage somewhere, has that very cozy, inviting feel to it. I really love the secret garden uh, uh, at the end there. I'm not really a fan of, you, you know by now that I'm not really a fan of the decor of this place. If I bought it, I'd chuck a lot of the furniture out and uh, replace it with uh, stuff that actually uh, is congruent with this facade here. Like I wouldn't expect seeing this and then going in, you get this like faux Victorian Baroque kind of one, I don't know, kind of decor. But uh, this, you know, seeing this, I'd, I'd probably put in some more rustic, more organic kind of uh, furnishings to uh, make the whole place congruent. So that's just me. Next, we move on to a, it says stunning. I don't have to say it, it says it already. It's a stunning pool villa in Sansai for sale and for rent. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom, 400 square meters in size, one story, and it was completed in January of 2016. Now, it's available for rent for 72,000 baht per month, or you can own it for 32.5 million baht. Okay, so looking at uh, the map view here, it's in Marim uh, district, way north of Mueng Chiang Mai here. So, I mean, yeah, technically you're still in Chiang Mai province, but it's quite a drive uh, away from uh, main Chiang Mai um, city here, but it's right along the Ping River. So that's really, really nice. Uh, okay, and again, photographer who took the photos of this, bravo, bravo. Ugh, I would Photoshop out this uh, water tower, but okay, that might be false advertising. So, okay, maybe not do that. Uh, yeah, by the way, 32.5 million baht brings the price per square meter to 72,000 baht per square meter. So not cheap, ballers only. Chiang Mai ballers only. 
So, okay, looking at the floor plan, lots and lots to see here. Let's start from the front yard. Boom, okay, so you've got a gigantic garage. Look at, look at how gigantic it is. You got a person and some vehicles here to give you some uh, context around the scale of this garage here. So you've got, you can park your Lamborghini, your Bentley, your Maserati, all your luxury cars, and then yeah, you can put your Ducatis here as well. Um, I like this front lawn. <laughs> Got the gardeners are doing it right now. That's really nice. I really love uh, all this wood here. That is gorgeous. And look at that uh, nice seating area outside there. I'll get to that in the second. But look at this ceiling, this roof finishing. Wow, this is an architectural feat. Wow, and then look at that lighting fixture there. Very classy, it looks very large and spacious, and I love this two-tone color here. This is very Chiang Mai, and wow, really, what an entrance here. So uh, I hope that they don't ruin it with uh, cheap furniture. Although, um, you know, if I were to sell it, I just furnish it very minimally. Uh, so, okay, so this is a kitchen. You have a full U-shaped kitchen here. Uh, okay, geez, the countertop material here kind of cheapens it. And then you've got like a, a dining table here if you're too lazy to bring your food outside. Okay, so I mean, I guess your guests won't see this, but I just wish that, you know, they made the kitchen experience a little bit more uh, luxurious as well. Granted, they're probably thinking, okay, this is for like, hiring servants and you're made to cook here so they don't really care about the character of the kitchen but usually if you look at in like really nice western homes the kitchen itself is also a like a main hallmark of the place too and it's an architectural and design feat this kitchen not so much it's a just a very plain thai style kitchen um, lots of counter space and lots of storage though so all right whatever Okay, so you've got that clean vinyl floor. I really like it. I love the wood everywhere. That's really, really nice. This is, that gives it, a, that gives this place its uh, high value that it's asking for. That's really nice. I really, really like these uh, screen doors here. Uh, it lets you see into the entire layout of the place. It lets you see outside, as you can hear, see here. It invites the natural sunlight coming in, gives you this very open and spacious, warm feeling to it. Very, very well done. So you've got the living room here, very nice. So this is in Thai, they, they call Hong Rap Kag. So this is a, the room where when your guests come in, you will seat them here and then uh, you'd serve them water. They take off their shoes, obviously in the front here, and they'd sit here and wait for uh, the, the house owner to come down and greet them and all like that. And this is where the guests would be greeted in a typical Thai mansion like this. So this is the Hong Rap Kag. And to the right here is uh, one bedroom here. Jeez, it is larger than most people's master bedrooms. I like uh, this wooden bed here. It goes very well with the rest of the house. Gosh, these windows are very classy. This is so Chiang Mai. Love it, love it. This looks a little cheap though. Uh, okay, and then you can see outside into your well-tended to garden. That's very nice. And boom, we are not holding back here. The first bedroom comes with a bathtub. Everyone's gonna have a cozy, luxurious experience when they live here. A little bit small mirror, but okay. Uh, and then you've got a bathtub right here, and then you've got a shower stall there. And then, uh, okay, interesting. It looks out into the garage, but okay, I guess if you're taking a bath at night, then uh, no one's gonna be standing outside, right? So, uh, except for the neighborhood serial killer who might be there. Um, let's see, uh, let's stop into the dining room. Okay, so you've got a dedicated dining room here. Oh, and it's uh, decorated with some nice uh, Northern Thai uh, ornaments here. That's very nice. And uh, this here is very traditional Thai. And I like this screen here where you can open and then you can put food from the kitchen right onto this uh, table here if you remove these things. And then you can go from there and then 
pick the food up from this table and serve it onto the main dining table. That is gorgeous. Or you can eat outside. We'll get to that in a second. That looks amazing. And uh, so you've had the guest, uh, the guest living room here for the guests. This can be a living room for the people that live here. Uh, okay, so you can furnish it with more comfortable uh, couches as we can see here. So you've got a large coffee table with a uh, TV that just looks tiny uh, uh, in the backdrop of these and you have access to the outdoor garden here and and okay so that's the seating area that um, we saw from outside whoops okay so I've jumped in that let's zoom back there so you've got a nice seating area out here to sit in the morning and enjoy your coffee that is amazing okay so what else you've got the living room here and then you've got uh, two bedrooms here. Oh, and then you've got the master bedroom that way as well. So let's check out this one, this one, and then this one, and then we'll go to the pool, poolside area. So, okay. So with this one, okay, they gave you two twin beds. Wow, I like this uh, gla um, glass screen panel here that you can slide out and then it connects to that um, little coffee lounge area there. That's really nice. In the morning, you can wake up, enjoy the fresh air. Okay, again, that looks cheap. I put in a proper uh, drawer. I, I pro put in a proper, proper wardrobe. Also, a nice bathtub with a view from outside. Okay, uh, okay, just a small mirror. Okay, and then you've got your shower stall here. I like this. these uh, wooden uh, blinds here. That's really nice. Keeping to the theme. Wow, I really like the, the woodwork that they did here. Damn, this place is class. Okay, and then uh, jumping into the next bedroom, that cheap closet again, but, but the rest of the woodwork is really nice. And then this place gives you access to the back pool area. You've got some seating here. So that's a lot more, uh, con lot more conducive to sitting outside than the other room. And it also comes with a uh, bathtub like this as well. Okay, very similar layout throughout all the uh, bathrooms. So let's zoom up and go to the uh, master bedroom. Okay, yeah, okay. I guess the difference uh, with the master bedroom is it has uh, the master view of the pool, right? And uh, wow, just again, I just love the wood finishings here. Very high class. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Damn. Okay, so wow. And then seeing from outside, you know, you don't have any tall buildings. It looks like you're living amongst, you know, the rice paddies and all like that. Very nice. So this is what you get for living uh, way out of town, right? You, you have like this large property and you've got a his and her vanity counter, a larger mirror. That's nice. Ooh, walk-in closet. <laughs> what is up with these like cheap looking closets? I mean, I guess it's okay. Maybe they look nicer, you know, when you see it physically, but just from the 3D virtual tour does not look nice. Okay, a ba uh, toilet stall here. Wow. A large jacuzzi bathtub here with a view. Very, very nice. And then a large bathroom stall here. That is gorgeous. All right, let's step out to the poolside area everyone was waiting for. Okay, welcome to the poolside area. When the weather permits, you can uh, instead opt to uh, have your lunch or dinner out here and enjoy that. <laughs> Oh, holy moly. And you've got some sun beds here, uh, cabanas out here that you can lay out over there. And then you can see uh, your neighbors over yonder. Looks like they themselves got some really nice traditional Thai architecturally designed houses over there as well. I like these uh, banana trees uh, over yonder. Uh, this really, really nice. Wow, and then uh, I like these uh, screens that come down, so I bet that when, when the sun hits here, you can uh, shade yourself here from the harsh sun. And look, again, look at this roof work here. And uh, you've got those ceiling fans there. <laughs> wow, I love this place. So, so nice. Look, wow, okay. 
Let's have a look at uh, some, okay, so they give you a view here. So, all right, that is fantastic. So you, this is a, a perspective from the other side, looking at the house, the house very uh, minimally designed, really nice. Wow, this garden is very nicely tended to, well-groomed. You've got this uh, jet jacuzzi section of the pool here and this other section that's large enough for you to actually do laps. You've got a sitting area out there. That's from the master uh, bedroom. There we go. Uh, 32.5 million baht if you want to buy, if you want to rent, 72,000 baht per month. So why work with a real estate agent from Fazwaz? Well, number one, local knowledge and access to the largest property database in Thailand. Number two, a personalized approach to understand your requirements and match you to the best properties. Number three, an exit strategy. You buy your place through Fazwaz and you can also sell your place through Fazwaz and leveraging their network of buyers that could be interested in buying your place. See the link in the description of this video for how to get connected with a real estate agent.